Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to dive into 15 things to declutter this fall. Actually, we're already a little bit into fall. I realize that we're already like coming into November, so October has come and gone. Things go by so quickly, don't they? Um, but for me here, it's just now starting to get into the cooler weather where it feels like fall. And because of those temperatures that can come with fall and spring, it can be a really great and comfortable time to get a little bit of decluttering done. But fall in particular is really all about change and letting go. You know, the leaves change colors and then they fall and don't come back again until spring when new things are starting. So a lot of us focus on New Year's as being when we're going to make changes. But really that change should start a little sooner. It should start in the fall. That's a great time to let go and make space for the changes that you're wanting to see come New Year's. Now, if you're new here, hi, my name is Mia Danielle. I chat all about holistic and clutter-free spaces. So if that's something you're into, be sure to click subscribe and turn on those notifications because I release new videos every Tuesday. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into 15 things to declutter this fall. Number one is clothes and shoes, specifically clothes that you didn't wear over the summer and that you're not excited about reaching for now that it's getting cooler. I think that fall is a really great time for going through clothes and shoes because it's a wonderful intermediary, right? You still have that fresh knowledge of what you wore and how you felt over the summer and the things that you didn't wanna reach for and why. And you're also getting to kind of dip your toe into what am I feeling like reaching for sweater wise or warmth or cozy wise and what am I really not excited about so use that new information to make space in your closet before we get deep into the really cold months or summer comes back around we don't have to save everything for spring cleaning number two is beauty and skin products there is no doubt that summer calls for its own repertoire of skin products, whether that be sunblocks or tints or moisturizers that are a little bit lighter possibly than what you use in the deep winters. Even makeup shades tend to change when you go from summer to fall. And so look and evaluate your current products. There may be things that are still in great condition to store and to use next summer. There may be some things that are not gonna make it, you know, like the sunblock that's already almost out or that maybe is already on its second year of use. Just use your own judgment and look through some of those products and be real with yourself about whether or not you're actually gonna use those next year or if you're gonna end up buying a replacement anyway. Because if so, there's no need to store it for all of the months in between. If you are a makeup wearer, this might be a good time to rotate your makeup stock, to pull out the fall shades if you have those, and to clean your brushes before you switch over tones. Number three is food zones. So we're thinking refrigerators, pantries, anywhere where you're storing any kind of food. This could be canned goods that maybe you bought over the summer to try out and haven't used. Fall is a great time to donate cans. There are gonna to be tons of food drives for shelters and people who really need food, especially canned food. But you also might have some kind of treats or snacks or just summer specific foods that you know you're not gonna be dipping into come fall and winter. So for example, we had a whole bunch of otter pops left over after our camping trip. Obviously now we're not gonna be eating a lot of otter pops. So we donated those to other people in the family who had little kids that could run through them pretty quickly. And let's be real, you might also have some diet foods that you bought over the summer that you're just not going to be eating going forward. Now's a good time to go ahead and evaluate that, see what's almost empty that you know you're not going to finish, and make those decisions about some of the food items that you purchased over the summer. Number four is fitness equipment. One aisle that tends to stay pretty empty throughout the summer is the fitness aisle, and that's because we tend to explore and experiment with different types of fitness equipment when we're trying to fit into the new swimsuit or prepare for the new cruise that we're about to take or, you know, the wedding that you're going to be attending. A lot of those things happen in the spring and summer months and then they either don't get used or they get set aside for months and months. So now's a good time to reevaluate some of those fitness purchases that you might have made over the summer. Were they worth it? Were they not worth it? Are they just going to be collecting dust going forward? It's not necessarily all about looking back into the summer. Some of it's about looking forward into the holiday season and the winter. So fall is a great time to start looking through some of your seasonal decor, find out what you're actually going to be using, what you're going to be reaching 
for what maybe needs to be replaced or just removed from the lot altogether. Things like Christmas decor, fall decor, even Halloween decor. You can also keep in mind things like serving dishes or whatever you may or may not be using come Thanksgiving if you're going to have a lot of people over and make those decisions about items that tend to be seasonally specific in general. But looking back to summer, number six is craft supplies and sporting equipment. There are things that we tend to purchase that might be totally ruined or cracked by the end of summer, and it's a good time to go ahead and discard those things instead of shoving them up into storage. So maybe you have some pool floaties that, you know, have little rips or holes in them that you're not going to use next year. Now's a good time to go ahead and discard those things. This also includes any crafts or hobbies or games or puzzles that maybe you bought to entertain yourself or your family over the summer, now's a great time to determine if there are any of those craft supplies left, if they're going to be used again, and if any of the games or puzzles are likely not going to be touched again and could be donated. Number seven, don't forget to look outside or inside your window for summer annuals, the plants that only live during the spring and summertime and that are going to need to be replanted next year and have lived their lifespan. Be sure that you take the time to toss those out so that they don't just look withered and gross and dead for the next couple of seasons. Number eight is the garage. This is something that we actually dipped into just a couple of weeks ago because fall really is like the sweet spot for clearing out the garage. You've got the cooler temperatures, may even have some overcast skies so the sun's not beating down on you. Plus, you've likely done some kind of gardening if you have gardening tools at all you probably use those over the spring and summer. So you know the things that are falling apart that you're actually gonna get use out of and that you're not. So now's a great time to go ahead and get rid of the things that are completely falling apart that will need to be replaced next year anyway. And consider donating some of the tools that you have that you're not getting use out of. Places like Habitat for Humanity can take and use those tools for some of their housing projects. And there are plenty of donation facilities that will accept gardening tools and resell them and that money can go toward their charity cost. Number nine is coats and jackets. It's time to check the coat closet if you have one, or in my case, the back of your wardrobe closet, because this, again, is a great time to start donating. People are going to be looking for jackets and coats, and now's a great time for you to try on the ones that were used last year to see if they even still fit, or if they work in the climate. Maybe you've moved locations, and you just need to know if the things that you currently have are going to work for the seasons ahead of you. Along those same lines, number 10 is blankets. Fall and winter are notoriously wonderful cozy seasons. The blankets come out and they really do add to the ambiance of your space. So start evaluating now. Maybe over the summer, some of the blankets have gotten a little sticky. Maybe the kids got candy in them. Maybe the dog made it their own personal lay spot. You know, reevaluate some of the blankets that you've been holding on to and determine, are these the blankets that I want to give me that cozy vibe come deep fall and winter. Number 11 is summer linens and towels. There are a lot of people who do use lighter sheets or a lighter cover during the summer and then they do during the winter and they'll swap those out. I'm not one of those people. I keep the same thing pretty much year round. But if you do, then this is a great time to evaluate those summer sheets or summer bedding or summer towels as you put them away. Don't put away something that you know you're not actually going to use next year because maybe it's a little overworn and pilly now or maybe it has rips in it or stains that you're just not cool with. Um, and then of course, there's always beach towels, right? Beach towels, it's great if you can reuse them. I'm not saying you should sell your beach towels and buy new ones every year. But again, if there are some that are damaged that you know aren't going to work next year, now's a good time to get rid of those. And those make great donations for pet shelters. Number 12 is outdoor furniture patio furniture, deck furniture, pool furniture, whatever furniture that you've been used to using outside, especially if you live in an area like I do, where it gets super rainy for several months during the fall and the winter, we have to take things down and put them away, otherwise they'll get damaged. So while you're in the process of making whatever adjustments and changes need to be made to that outside furniture, it's a good time to also discard the things that you're not going to be keeping for the next year. That may also include things like outdoor decor items, that have lived their lifespan and won't be pulled out next year. Number 13 is school and office supplies. Now, by this point, I think that all of the kids are back in school and they probably hopefully have their new school supplies. But maybe you haven't gone through and discarded some of the previous year's school supplies. And of course, school supplies 
can change drastically from year to year, especially if your kid is going from elementary school to junior high or from junior high to high school or to college, you know, like, uh, and also our own office needs might have changed. You might have a new job that you're working toward or that you're just in the process of getting hired for. So reevaluating where you currently stand for your office supplies while we're talking about evaluating these winds of change Now we talked about clothes and shoes, but I do wanna take a minute to mention specifically winter accessories. Are you missing one of your snow gloves? You know, it's good to find that out now instead of when you're in the process of taking all your stuff to go skiing and having to go scramble at that point. So are there any winter accessories? Do you have scarves that are now like threadbare or ripped that you're not gonna be able to use this season? Let's go ahead and look through things like hats, scarves, gloves, and any other kind of winter accessories that might be specific to the climate that you live in. And number 15 is toys. We talked about summer gear specifically, but just in general, toys, especially if you have kids or adults, adults can have toys too, who are going to be requesting new things come the holiday season. You want to make space before you bring in new things, and this can be a great time to do it. Fall is kind of interesting because you're coming off of the lazy summer months, and there's this really busybody productive period where you're getting the kids in school, maybe you're going back to work, and things get really productive. And then at some point, for most people, things tend to slow down. You start to kind of settle into this whole cozy vibe, the hot cocoa or the chai tea latte with the warm blankets, and things just get a little bit slower. And I think that that's a great time to go through and make space for things before we inevitably get busier again come back-to-back holiday seasons. So it's a good time to start thinking about what do I need to make space for so that I'm not having to scramble to get it all done two weeks before Christmas or two weeks before we meet with the family. So those are 15 things that you can focus on decluttering this fall season that are gonna enable you to have a more relaxed holiday season and be prepared next summer without having to do a massive decluttering overhaul. So I hope that you got some great ideas. Be sure to share any of your own ideas down in the comments. And if you are in the process of really trying to curate a space for yourself that feels amazing and feels yummy and you wanna know how to do that, I do have my free on-demand workshop, my holistic clutter-free formula open. You can watch it right now if you would like to. I'll leave the link down in the description. And I will chat with you next week.